first time. Right, so if you think you walk out, face us. Right, so I know I'm going to mark. I'm going to get no, no, I'll fix them. I'm going down that way. You sure? Yeah.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are preparing our presentation. I'm Dr. Hatha, who is going to be taking the area, who is going to be taking the memory of the resources. The English squad for today is number 16, number 3, number 6, number 8, 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 number for seven and eight to be a number twenty two of you for a purpose. Today's air training for six years here in the world, for three years in the world, for six years in the world, for eleven, for seven, for 
Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to please ask our mom on one one. And anybody, you're all very welcome here to St. Patrick's Athletic, home of Saint, home of the League of Ireland side. Uh, we're going live here on our Irish Amputee page. Myself, Justin Buck, and Jay Lynch is here for today. Uh, we're just going to run through the lineups real quick. Ireland, in goal, number 16, Fergal Duffy. Number 3, Rory Murphy. Number 6, Kevin Fogarty. Number 11, Jack Douglas. Number 7, Neil Howie. Number 10, Kevin O'Rourke. And number 9, James O'Bull. And we'll go to the England lineup. Number 14, Thomas Atkinson. Number 3, Helder Silver. Number 6, Martin Held. Number 8, Michael Masters. Number 10, Jamie Trigaskis. Number 11, Reese Ramson. And number 12, TJ Yates. And we're starting here now. Jamie Trigaskis just playing a back now. Nice quiet ball back into his goalkeeper, Atkinson. Just calmly giving it to Hel Helder Silver. Today is captain for England. Of course, anybody that was around for the game yesterday, they saying England victorious in a 3 1 win at Abbottstown. Fantastic game. Rory Murphy with the sideline touch here. Finds Kevin Fogarty. Kevin back out to. Rory Murphy and TJ Yates just put him under pressure of course finds uh, James Boyle with the ball James of course scored a fantastic goal yesterday be looking to add to his uh, scoring tally Douglas and O'Rourke just trying to link up there to try and play in Boyle but 
just didn't get the touch right and it's back for England for a kick out and Atkinson once again starts to play back over to Silva held, held on the ball quick one up to Ramsey and Boyle just collects the ball will he try and break he's looking to take them on cutting inside and very easy for Silva just to touch just got to wait and Boyle and he just can't get control of it and very easy for them to mop her up and, and they're back in possession England and Ramsey calmly just plays it back into hell and Masters is just dropped in looking for that ball cross Masters came on yesterday and had a fantastic game yesterday just leading in the mid midfield always looking for that ball that pass just looking for Yates you know to hold it up and unfortunately just didn't get control of it and Duffy took easy control of the ball This, this festival of football, of course, this weekend has been brought to us by Megazine, proud sponsors of, of this competition. We do sponsors like Megazine, uh, associations like the Irish Amputees would not be in a position to take part in competition. So we're very privileged to have Megazine on board. Martin Held just looking to restart. Finds Masters. Back to Held and over to Silva. Trigaskis is on the on the ball. Seeing him very tricky yesterday. And once again, they've shown that skill he had yesterday in Abbottstown. Zipping the cross. Can he get that ball to find it into the box? He does. Oh, great defending. Great defending by Kevin Fogarty. We did see Trugaskis do that yesterday. Zipping down the line, cutting in, in between defenders. And there's no doubt he'll look to do that again today. Morphy just taken down by Silva. Um, look at, looking for the free, got his free. And, it, and players back on. Fogarty in play, back to Duffy, and now it's Morphy. Back into Duffy they are going to just try and play a little bit of football from the back line. And a long ball looking for Boyle. Can he take control? No, it's to Ramson. Howie. To Rook. Looking for Boyle. Can he find him? Oh. Hell just cutting the ball away from his goalkeeper, Atkinson. Clearly the danger. Don't worry, have to. That's, that's what you ask the defender. If you're in doubt, you just put it out. And put out that little bit of danger and then wins the sideline ball. Get the ball off of Coyle. Very composed defender. Atkinson out from the back line again. Hit it to Silva. Silva just looking to gain a bit of yards. Playing it up to TJ Yates. Yates is just looking to find that pass to, to Gaskis. And he was just looking for that ball to be played back in so he could just take control of the ball. But Yates was looking for him to run onto it. Bit of a mix-up between the two, but I'm sure that as the game goes on, they will look to try and link up a bit more. Just a, a, a glimpse of what will come when they do try and link up. There will be pace coming from both sides, but Rams and Andrew Gaskis. Here we go with Rams and just looking to play that quick one too. He does, just zips it out. They're out to the, to the wing with Gaskis. Will he try and get past Murphy? He does. Can he get a shot in? He gets the shot in. It's blocked. Quite great save. And again, Howie Yen just takes it off Ramson. And Douglas is there with the ball. He's a bit under pressure by Yates. And he's still in possession. Could get a free here. Yes, he does get a free. He out muscled TJ Yates. He's obviously been under weights the last while. Fogarty looking to again to find Boyle. Just Boyle just tried to take a touch on that, just using his body to shield Hales and uh, fortunately the ball just went ahead of him and into safely into uh, Atkinson's arms. Held is just looking to put it in front of, of Rams. 
can he do it oh Fogarty with a late challenge there going for the ball both players are injured both of them are stretching for that ball Ramson always looked like he was just going to get there ahead of Fogarty and Fogarty could, could be going into the book by the match official Both players are just receiving treatment and hopefully they're both okay. This weekend has been blessed with a bit of good weather and we were, we were able to actually just get through the game yesterday in Abbottstown before the rain just came out of the heavens and, and hit us hard but we were safe under a bit of a tent but lucky enough the match went through and there we go with hope you just confirmed this going into the book yellow card Massa stepping over this free kick. A rook and Douglas is in it. And he lays it off to Ramsey. Ramsey looks to get a shot off and it just goes forward. Good idea. Just didn't get the, the pass on the right that he could get the good good bit of weight into that shot. Unfortunately, just went wide from. And Duffy look to start to play again. Looking to find the runner. Well, can he hold this in? No, unfortunately, just goes out. But the idea was there. You can see they're just trying to get the ball up to boil as quick as possible. And Held is just getting the ball back in play to Silva. Silva just finds Mass. His Mass is just looking to find it. Pass out to Trukaskis. And Hobie's just going to try and keep up with him for pace. Silva. Silva is now looking to line up a shot. Does he get a shot in this? Rory Morphy just with the block. And Morphy with a second block. Great. Ramson just finding that little bounce that came off this first block. And gets a shot in. And it ricochets off. Rory Morphy out for a corner. For England. Just coming short to nine minutes now into this first half. And we now have a corner kick to be taken by England captain Helder Silva. Silva swings it in. Looking to find the head of Masters, and it's just too high. Goes out for sideline ball, and substitute McAvoy, who just came on there for Kevin Folk, and he's looking to restart it. McAvoy gets a link of play straight to a rook, but it just goes too far ahead of him. And Trugaskis just gets in, and as we said yesterday, he was zipping in and out. And here we are, here again. He's doing it again, just looking to line up for a shot. Duffy who just cleared him with his foot. Points on goes as far as Ramson, who takes control of the ball. With Nice header down. Trigaskis just takes that ball and just you can see he was trying to pull it in with the right boot into the far corner. Unfortunately, it just caught here. And looking up, there was a couple of uh, people to stop that ball down there. Duffy launching it up to find Boyle. Can Boyle take control of this ball? Held is just holding up his body. Oh, he just dummies him. Oh, my God. Can he get past him? He just finds a rocket back to him. Oh, it's a goal. What can it be? It's a fine goal here for James Boyle. James Boyle, what a great goal for Ireland. Great link of play. What a rock. Fantastic goal for Ireland. Great link of play. You can see they were trying to get that ball up to James Boyle. Ten minutes in. Nothing Atkins could do in gold. (laughs) 
Yates with the restart. Silva to held. Final mass is in the centre. Hield is just looking to get that ball up. It's, he would class it as probably his mistake because he just couldn't find his feet and, and fell over for Boyle to get that space. He's staying up there. Yeah. Held with true gases. Looking to find. Oh! Nearly an OG there. Trugask is just looking to find TJ Yates in the box. But McAvoy cuts it out and nearly hits a pass his own keeper. Fair good, Duffy. Trugask is to Silva. And he can pass the rope. He's looking to find an inkle play with Ramson. Great little trail link. And of course, what a ball by Duffy. Finding Boyle straight up to the pitch. And once again, Boyle is left by Helms. Helms is looking to drive in. Out. That's a free in. And he kicks the ball away. Just not getting to grips with James Boyle today. Of course, we've seen Boyle get that goal yesterday and he'd be buzzing the confidence after that goal and he started off today very bright and we're going to just have a time out And we're starting the game again. How he steps over, Roar steps over, and boy with the shot. Atkinson with a great right hand save. Show confidence to his team with a fantastic save there for his, for his England teammates. Boy, of course, looking to double his tally here today. A fantastic free kick. We've seen him do that in the World Cup in Trophy. And we know he is a danger man when it comes to three kicks like that. And it's back in. Low field, but it's clear by Marcus. TJ Yates is looking. And it's a look. What a big oh my god. Me and Howie with the cheek to try and just love the keeper with the outside of his right field. Fantastic effort. Nearly catching that when he's out just over the wrong side of him, but Trugascus. Out to hell. Finds TJ Yates. We just get someone in touch and, and McFoy does a mess around that and picks it up to Boyle. Boyle is just looking to get past Silver. He just playing the simple. Out to hell. Back to Masters. Back to hell then. Ireland just pressing them a little bit. Five to make them play it back. 
Ramsey. Once again, yesterday he was a danger man yesterday in Abyssal. And McCoy is punished for catching Ramsey. McFoy just looking to replace us. looking to get in mass it's just trying to get in there yeah just heard a little bit of ruffling and moving it's we're trying to double and treble task here in the in the hook yourself and jer fergal just launches that ball again fine by with a lovely force time control looking to get past held and he lays it off a rope will rock get a shot off he's looking for that shot oh it's a fantastic goal again Ireland lead 2 0 here in Richmond Park. Fantastic link up play. Of course, the two of them did link up for the first goal. And now they have linked up for the second goal. This time, Boyle become a provider. Lena on a play for a Fantastic goal. Silver Ramsden. What can he do? We can look for him. Matt Boy just gets in the way. Ramsden will be taking this corner kick. Swings it in. McAvoy clears that ball. Also, just looking for Masters who drifted off the back to Gaskis. What can he do? He's looking just to get past the walk. Just close it off. Ramson. And it's the Howie. Howie just, just trying to get the ball of it. Three, that hits it. That's it's the crunch and that's a free out. Ireland should slow it down. Match official Claudio is just telling to bring the ball a little bit back corner. Gets Wolfie now. It's Ramsey. Can Duffy come? Oh, it's a, that should be a free. That surely could be a free. It was a flash there. Very brave by both players. Ramsden and and Duffy going in for that ball. I don't think there was 
the militia's tackle in it. I think just both men were committed to going for that ball, and that's just the way, the way we have it in, in football. If you, if you pull over, you're going to go for and of course, you them didn't pull out and, and still get Kane and Horton. Hopefully both players will be okay. Anybody that's just joining us now in on the live stream. Ireland leading 2 0 here in Richmond, pa Richmond Park from goals from James O'Boyle on 10 minutes and 18 minutes into the first half. We had Boyle and a rope linking up with a rope firing in the shot to make it 2 0 to Ireland. And it's a fantastic game. It was a great game yesterday uh, in Abbottstown. And once again today, we're being Showcase for two fantastic sides, giving it everything on the pitch. Of course, this is going to start for the football for or Duffy. You know, it's not it's giving it to Masters. Silver. Silver looking to find that long ball up to Sweet. Morphy with it. a great ball into the run of Boyle. Can he get there ahead of Hell? Hell just knocks it back to Atkinson. A great play by Hell. He's just started off in this rubbish in the first half, but he's getting to grips now with the runs of Boyle and just plays a simple pass back to Atkinson and he's back from again. He hasn't dropped his head at all in this match. Great ball up. Brook finding the ball. Can Boyle get there? He's looking to get there. Great save by Atkinson. Masters, what can he do? Can he find a pass if one of his teammates? Tweed's looking for that one. No one's giving him an option now. He's just silver. That boy makes that run towards. Gets a cut in. Just puts out that pass. Looking for Tweed. And we're having a time out here by Ireland. Just before the end of the first half. Of course, anybody again that's just joining us in, in this uh, live stream. And the joint is late. It's Ireland 2, England 0. Goals by James O'Boyle and Kevin O'Rourke have Ireland leading 2 0 uh, on this glorious day in Richmond Park, home of St. Patrick's and Flip. England three star held to tweet. We have three minutes of at a time to be added into this first half. Three minutes of at a time, and I'm all just looking to take this process. Tweet, and he draws some balance, looks up with, with a rope, 
and it's back into the run of Ballack. But it's just too far ahead of him, and it's easy for him to, to just put that pass in. Hell for the long ball, looking for Tweed, and Murphy puts it out, finds a rope, and a rope with a long ball straight up to Boyle, looking to get past Silva. Can Silva just cut it out past, and the referee's just given a very soft three. We've seen many occasions yesterday where the referee allowed that just to play with people in possession, and today it's just not allowing that to happen today. So the answer is just zipping past how he got, how he can he stay around. He has it, he's looking for that pass, and Matt Boyle does play, cuts out. Can see the pass coming. Hey! 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 Lays it out to Tweed. Tweed is just looking for that pass. And it's hit off Murphy and comes to a rope. Can he just play that ball in? Plays it out to Hobby. The silver looks like he's going to get their force and we have to commit to it. Tweed just digs it off him and looking for the run around him. And will he play it back in? Now we could pass the uh, rope. Look at the line of rope. Murphy locks lock it out. Pass to Gaskis. Ballot just. And this should be a goal for England. And it is a goal for England. Ramson just laying it on the plate for Silva. Just before half time, that brings the goal back for England. 2 1. Go for the number three, and then the other side. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, 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 Three just looking to get across and put out that pass back in, and they're just going to slow it down now. Just eat up a few minutes play. McAvoy. Boyle just looking to get that look. Bit of a foul, and it's half time. Put again the free there, bro. Great first half performance from Ireland. England bringing themselves back into this game for the second half with a great goal. Link of play with Ramson put on a play for Silva to find himself unmarked in that box. But of course, this game is brought to us by Megazyme. Megazyme, proud sponsors of the Ireland Football Festival for the Irish Amputees. Hope you're enjoying the, the live stream and we'll be back for the second half. Stay, stay, stay tuned with us here.
our international match between Ireland amputees and English amputees here in Richmond Park, home of St. Patrick's Athletic. And of course, this match won't, wouldn't be here unless we had Megazoim uh, proudly sponsoring this football festival between our two countries. So we're very uh, thankful to Megazoim once again. James Aboyle is looking to just lead us here in the second half, getting ready to tip off. Match officials are ready to go. And we just see a net getting fixed here. And we big shout out to Darren Coughlin from Cork. I know his family are watching in known how well he's done. Um, he's progressed from, you know, just salutating football boots. And now he's moved up the ranks to salutating the goals of, of the international team. So well done, Darren. Very proud moment for you. And we're back, Murphy to Duffy. And Ireland, of course, will slow it down. Day three is just now he's just looking to cut in and just block out a pass, and no one's pressing with him. They're gonna have to bridge that big gap. Boy, can he get it? It just couldn't get it from under scope. A row, masses. Masters just tries to pass it back. Just kicks the ground as he was passing that ball. And England get away with that. Just get back in possession and Pugaskis with the ball to Masters. Out to Silva, the captain for, for England here today in Richmond Park. Out to Pugaskis. Just out the wing. Looking to get in. But how he just zips across. Gets his, gets his right boot in. Just takes it off his... As he was lining it up, just to skim past them, and there's a bit of pressure on him. Morphy with a big long kick up, up the pitch, only as far as Silva. Silva looking for that one two with Masters. Masters puts it back out to Trugescu's on the left wing to Tweed. Tweed's just looking for fine Masters. Masters, can he line up a shot like he did yesterday? And that shot just goes narrowly wide, and Duffy will just look to regroup and restart to McAvoy. McAvoy lays it back down to Duffy and they'll just slow down the game. There's no one putting them under pressure. See that there's no pressure to move that ball. McAvoy. Tweed is now just putting them under a little bit of pressure now. Back here we can find that. Tons of space there in the back. Tweed, unfortunately, is just left up there in the zone and just too much of a gap there for Dave just to try and get across. And he's looking for support of his, of his teammates. Boyle just couldn't get that ball. Hell just gets in ahead of him, nicks that ball off. And England are looking to break. Finding Rams and that looks like we could have hit the touch, but still great control by, by Rams. And he skins past back by Can he do any damage here? Looking to put across, Murphy gets his body in front, and though Tweed was trying to take control of that ball, just to get England in possession again, Howie oh, nicks it away, and it was Masters who just takes the ball out in the line, and now England are just looking to get in in close to the, the box, Trugaskis to Tweed, back again to Trugaskis, gets his shot in, but it's blocked by Balag, and it's played on, and a long ball up to... Up to Boyle, can he get past Held? And once again, I did say in the first half, Held had started a bit sluggish with Boyle, but he seemed to regroup. And once again, he's just getting his body standing up and just putting him off. And he's done fantastic here to knock Boyle off his off possession. Great turn by Ramson. And Ramson fires in a fantastic goal. Great link, great play there by England. And Ramson just Going himself, cutting inside, past the defender, and find a goal. Number 11, Ramson. Of course, Reese Ramson was threatening with that early on in the early on in the first half, and he's came out in the second half.
Howie, Howie, I'm just, Howie just waiting on that ball to come from Trigaskis just gets ahead of him there and Morphy again were a great just playing so well there in the back line just cutting out so many attacks but Neil Howie was just waiting on that ball to come from great save by Duffy Tweed just cutting inside past Howie and getting the shot in As I said earlier on, this is a fantastic game of football. England, of course, fell behind 2-0. They got a goal just before half, just at the right time. And now Ramsey has level. Matt does here three minutes into the second half. Masses. Ramsey looking for that long ball out to Tugaskis. Doesn't find him. What can Boyle do here? Can he get past Held? Held is just standing up for him, forcing him outside. Will he foil? He's going to cut inside him. He's going to. That's a corner kick. Great defending again by Held. Harry Ash coming on the pitch there for England there a moment ago, looking to link up in an attack. But of course, Ireland regrouped and counter attacked. And now they with a corner. We can see an Ireland substitute coming on there now. Gary Hoyes coming on. Neil Hoyes. Neil Hoyes. Corner kick swung in. Mass is just sending the ball out with the head up. And a roll. Oh! Murphy with that ball in from the sideline and just looking for the head of Boyle who looking to get a glance and header in past Atkinson but unfortunately just went just narrowly too high for him and Atkinson just gets that ball moving again out to hell and now we have Masters once again in possession just looking to collect that ball in the front of his own back line and trying to get the, get the attacking options for England going again we do know England have a lot of pace out in the width uh, Trugaskis just so skimming past. Can he get past once more? Great defending by a row. Ramsey was looking in at the back, and we've seen from yesterday's game, Ramsey was going to like the hang back. And when that ball is just about to be put into the box, he just makes that dart and run to the front post, uh, like he did just saying. He was looking to do that again today, but a rope cut out that cross coming in. Tweed will take this corner kick. Two sticks up. That means short pass, short pass to Masters. Masters just linking up with Rams and Rams and back in front. But can't carry high pass. Gets it up to gets it up to Boyle. Boyle just looking at the turn. Will he skim pass? Held or will he get past? No held again. Just looking to stand this ground. As I said in the first half, he would have probably punished himself harder than any teammate by when he fell that time that cost the first goal. But he's just regrouped and he's just had a fantastic game now since that and he's just on top of James Boyle all the way through this now James Boyle has just gone down injured and we'll look for a bit of treatment Substitute is going to come here. James Boyle is going off. Held. Substitute is replacing for David Tweedy. It's number 22. Lee Burbridge.
So the city of Florida, number nine, J.J. Florida, is replaced by number 11, Jack Jack Douglas. Number 11, Douglas is back on now for Boyle. A rope with that sideline ball, but finds it straight into the arms of Atkinson, and he's looking to get that up straight away to the substitute, Lane Borbridge. Lane Borbridge out to Trigaskis. Trigaskis looking to just get down that line as, as much as he can. Looking to still get past a rope. A rope. Can he just stay, stand up, block out that cross? He can't block out that cross, but it goes out towards the, the back post, and Ramson just finds possession. Of course, we know he has a lot of skill. In his locker, like he did for his for his goal. Ram, Tagaskis, but looking for Rams and Douglas just gets that touch, and Rams and wins the ball back in possession. Out to Masters, Tagaskis, cheeky dink over his head, and we we could be in for a shot here. Great block by Douglas. Great block, not to get there. Murphy sends it up toward Ballack. Can Stephen Ballack break? But Masters is on his toes. Ballack can get past him. He has got past him. Can he pull it back inside of him? Oh, held. Great defend and just stands his ground. Ballack just ran out of options. Gary Hoy just getting on top of Trigaskis there. One saying it was a free, one saying it wasn't free, but the referee was right on top of it. Once the referee's whistle has gone, they're better off just moving on. He's never going to change his decision. And we'll start this again out towards Trugasis. Rook. Can he stay with him? Hoy gets out there. Oh, the referee. Oh, there's a bit of it. Bit of after between the two of them now. Bit of after between the two players there, Trugaskas and High. A rope just runs over to break them up. Referee issuing the yellow card to both players. Why am I not? So, 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 but see him come back onto the pitch once he's calmed down. Matt Dean was the player that did the place. Trugaskis. Will Murphy get to, get to this ball force. Going, oh my. That's an island. Should be an island free. Yes, definitely a yellow. Went in with a stud toy there now. Definitely went in. And we're going to have a timeout now.
anyone that's joining us now, we've got about 10 minutes of normal time left here in the second half of this international match between Ireland and England here in Richmond Park. Score at present is 2 all. Goals by Boyle and O'Rourke had Ireland 2 0 up in the first half, but just before half time, Helda Silva had pulled the goal back for England and then Reese Ramsey equalised three minutes into the second half. Fantastic game. Both both players, sets of players, are pretty committed to winning the ball and winning this game. There's nobody looking for a, I don't think there's anybody looking for a draw here. Uh, both of them will go for a win. Overall, I thought it probably would be a fair result on reflection of the actual game, but Ramson just look at the turn inside McAvoy, sending a shot, looking for the far corner, but just goes narrowly wide. Though Duffy didn't look worried as that ball was going. And we're going to see a substitute for England. As you hear there from our announcer, Jamie Oakley is now on the pitch, replacing Liam Bowbridge. And Liam, Jamie Oakley does first touch of the match is to, is to win, the, win the ball off Gary High and send it out for a line ball. Byron and just getting it back into play. High to O'Rourke, O'Rourke. Just levels it back to High and High looking for that long ball. Up to Murphy. Can Murphy get past Held? Held is just gets his possession. Plays it back into Atkinson. Atkinson doesn't know what to do. Bit, bit pressure and gets the ball up and running again. England looking to break. Can they find Ramson out there with a pass? But McAvoy gets across, put him out. The pass from Matt Dean. You could see Ramson had pulled out towards the far right hand side. Well, McAvoy seeing the danger and cut it out. Fantastic uh, match here. Fantastic facilities. It'd be great for uh, both sets of players to be there just playing in the surface just like this. And thanks to all the volunteers here today, of all boys and anybody wanting in um, down the line. England just send a high ball in. Mass was looking for England. This would be a free for England now. Duffy's long ball up to Murphy just bounced up as he tried to chest it, just cut it in his in between his arm and his crutch. And a free. But McFoy stops pa Masters pass. Masters just looking, will he find out the runner? High in with a beautiful tackle in, cutting out Masters. Masters just looking to line up the shot. High seen, seen the danger and gets in ahead of it. I think that was a very evident third pass by Stefan Ballard. Just catching Matt Dean with that, that leg. Gaskas, as we would, as we said, would come back onto the pitch once he's probably calmed down, and he has sent the field play back on Oakley to Gaskas. Balak could see himself walking here. Ireland will probably have to do something here now. It's just, I think it's just very tired legs. Stepping across wouldn't be anyway like that. Murphy, can he get past out? And he wins that sideline ball. Rook to, to high, high back to a rook. McAvoy is free in the center. If you can find him, he does find him. 
Can he get it out to Douglas? Douglas goes on screen for it. Goes out looking for the rooks. Run too far. I think the idea was to get it to Murphy and it was across the ball. Probably went too far away to Murphy and a rook in fairness and gave that run. And we're going to see a double substitution here for Ireland. Dave White and Kevin Fogarty, the players coming on. Am I seeing Kevin O'Rourke going off? <laughs> Stephen Ballack is now going off. I, I think it's probably a wild substitution. He's just got a yellow card, and then he was quite close to getting the second yellow within a minute of that. Actually. So, uh, a bit of game management going on here by, by the two Chris's on the sideline for Ireland, who uh, put some amount of work into this spot. Uh, a lot of valuable spare time, and it's well appreciated by the squad and, and the whole. The whole of everybody involved in football and football for all. So, thank you so much. And we're about to see Gareth Clyde come on. Come onto the pitch. Or Fergal Duffy in the Isle of Nets. Fair moment for Gareth now coming into the nets here. No, please, just look and he can. It's laid off now. Looking for Harry Harris, but Harry High again, just showing his experience. Probably twice the age of Harry Harris, but he's still probably fitter than most young lads out there. He, Fogarty. Can he find Douglas? Can he find Douglas? Douglas is wrong if you can just see him. Oh, well, just a lucky. Great idea by Fogarty. Just trying to get the ball down the line. He had no real options other than a long high ball over to, to Douglas. To Gaskis. Skips past Fogarty. High again. Wins the ball. Won that ball fairly. That was, in my opinion, a poor decision here. But he is closer to play. But I thought, from my angle, and I'll have to look back here on VAR, but <laughs> definitely thought he had won it. That ball clean. Masters and Tregascus will stand over this free kick. Will they go for it? Masters. He's going for it. He lays it off into the pipe. Probably hit too far ahead of him. Looking to find held. And it's a break by Ireland. Can they break? It's Fogarty. He hits it out to Murphy. Out towards Douglas. Will he take the ground? Just, can he hold the ball up? And it's just cleared by Oakley. McAvoy, Dave White, Dave White to Gary High, High just takes the ground, looking to play Murphy, and it's a studs high there by Masters. Fantastic pace of this game, and it's end to end. Uh, this game could go anyway. Um, once again, I just want to give a big shout out just before we get to the final whistle here. This game would not be here unless we had Megazoyim coming in as, as our proud sponsors of the football festival with England here over this two days, the 6th and 7th of May. First day was in Abbottstown, the second day of course is here in Richmond Park. Fogarty lines it up. Hits it hard. And it's another free kick. It comes in closer. 
and they would manage with the screamer from the lion to get a get McAvoy on it. Man, game management here now. Looks like James Boyle is about to come on if you can bring him on for the last couple of minutes. Rory Murphy is going to be replaced by James Boyle. Murphy, of course, done so well here today. Substitution for Ireland number three, Rory Murphy, is being replaced with number nine, James Boyle. Boyle comes on to take the free kick, lines it up, oh, and he yeah. scores! What a goal! Oh, first touch, back at the net, only back on the pitch. I said it before and I said it again, the game management by the two Ireland fans of Chris McLean and Chris McElligan. Chris McElligan, of course, the main man here, and Chris McLean, coaching from the Lions. Game management sees James Boyle score that goal. What a fantastic goal for them. And Trey Ray calls it. Time now. Three two Ireland lead here. at a time here in Richmond, Richmond Park and it's Oakley, oh, it's Trent Javask is just skipping past Boyle, looking for that one two, looking for Oakley, Oakley looking for that one two, but it hits for Ireland breaker, Boyle, Oakley's just on pressure and Boyle looks for that free kick, just doesn't get it and Harry Ash is just looking to come in, laying it down to play for Oakley, back to Ash, can he score? And it's him wide for Boyle is back down injured. Of course, we do know Boyle was carrying a bit of an injury into this match. With his back and... Look like he's going back off. And Gary High has also got a bit of a bit of water from top hill. Carrot Wild to take, take play out from the back. <laughs> Wild just kicks a long and it's going to go over health. And we'll can Douglas get to health. Gets ahead of him. Back to Atkinson and Atkinson just lays it back. Of course, England, we know we'll try and get that ball up as far as we can. They're going to look for this equaliser. This has been a fantastic uh, uh, day for football. And that's the game over. Ireland, of course, victors of the match. Picascas isn't happy kicking the ball away. But it was a fantastic game between two two great sides. 
No matter what happens here, it's a fantastic game. Thank you. 